Hi everybody and welcome to my attempt at this week's BBO Weekly Free Instance Tournament. Sorry it's a bit later than usual, I've been playing in the English Bridge Unions and directing in it as well in the English Bridge Unions Festival of Bridge. Um, so anyway, so you'll get, have plenty of opportunity to play these yourselves. Um, we'll go to Instant Tournaments, Weekly Free Instant Tournament. Um, so each week it's eight boards, match points. Nobody has more high card points than you. Somebody can have the same number. Um, and uh, that's just that little extra bit of information that makes this not quite real bridge. Um, so I've got a 15 point hand, five, four, two, two. Um, uh, doubleton honours in the, uh, the two doubletons have got honours in them. It's all tens and nine, ten nines and eights and queens. This is a no trump type hand. So I'm going to open one no trump. I'm going to play one no trump. Spade lead. Yeah. Well, the robot certainly got off to the best lead. We have a heart fit, which we might have found if I'd opened a club. But this won't fare too well. First of all, we've got to see if um, they've led away from the king of spades. The robot very often doesn't, but they have this time. So we've got two spade tricks. Um, and this is our one, you know, we not, can't be certain we're going to get to dummy any other time. Eight card fits in clubs. This hand's chosen for the lead away from the King of Spades. Nobody's done any bidding. We've got um, 21 points, so like 10 and 9. They're 2, they're 19. Um, I think we'll go attacking clubs because we might be able to get four extra tricks in clubs rather than going for the heart finesse now. Um, who are we going to play for the Jack of Clubs? This is the question. No reason to try it. Oh, it worked. And they've played clubs back to us, which is even more amazing. So we know East has the Jack, so the clubs are breaking, so there's no need take a finesse or whatever. Um, I think it's time to turn our attention to hearts, our other eight card fit, and see if the heart finesse will work. Because after all, they led from the king of spades. They did, chose not to lead from the king of hearts. And here comes the jack of hearts, right. So they're still missing the 10, but we can knock out the 10. Um, let's get ourselves an extra entry to dummy, just in case. Well, they tempted to, no, I thought they wouldn't be tempted to go back to diamonds. Um, right, so I'm going to cash my clubs now. And go over to my eight of hearts and see if the diamonds will behave nicely for me. I don't think so. I think they have nicely that the ace is there. But as I thought, there's a spade to come. Well, 92.9%. So we got lucky there, really, I think. Hearts is probably a better contract. The hearts don't lie well at all. So people went off in no trumps. So I'm not quite sure I did well. But the crucial thing was at trick one, the only chance of making two spade tricks was to go straight up with the queen, hope they'd led away from the king. And when they had the obvious suit to play on, was clubs because there was a 5-3 fit in clubs as opposed to the 4-4 fit in hearts. So we stood to set up 
um, a total of four club trips, which would get us to the contract. So, and then we tried hearts, but the robots decided to persist with hearts. Anyway, Easter's opened a club. We got 15 points, six spades. This is quite a nice hand. The robots play weak jump over calls, so we can only overcall one spade here. At the top of the range for it. Two clubs in there, four spades from partner, which is about nine plus total points. So they've gone to five clubs, not vulnerable against vulnerable. So we'd have to beat them by four tricks to score better than us making a game. So if we were making four spades, that would give us 620 points. Five clubs doubled minus three is only 500 points for us. And that minus four would be 800. Now I've got a really good hand for playing in spades. Um, Easter's the one that opened one club. So the Ace of Diamonds is probably there and King of Hearts is probably there. So I think I'm worth five spades here. There's an argument for saying that I'd be worth six. But, um, there's every chance that East has two aces. Six clubs, right. Now's the time we just got to take the money. And lead against clubs. Um. Probably one of them has no spades or only one spade. So I think leading the ace of spades is safe. So they had one. Um, there's no point in leading away from my other honours or leading clubs. Um, I'll lead the ten of spades. This will get trumped. And we'll play trumps. I don't think they can get rid of their heart losers if they have any. So I'm going to play diamonds back to them. I don't want to play spades, which would give them a rough and a discard. They're going to throw some hearts away, but they've got so many hearts in dummy, they're not going to be able to get rid of them all. We can throw the four of hearts away now. And finally, they play hearts and part. Oh, no hearts there. So we had a heart fit as well as a spade fit so it's 85.7 percent so bidding five spades and driving them to six clubs they would have made five clubs as we can see um so uh if we lead the wrong ace things can go wrong so that's an equal top some people didn't double six clubs um, and some people doubled four clubs. Right. So it's a reasonable start. Uh, but the crucial bid was the five spades to realize what a powerful hand, because we would have made, well, they can take their two aces at the start. And if they don't, um, we'll be discarding them. In fact, though, they could see if I'm playing spades, they can get a spade rough and then the two aces. So they can beat five spades. Um, but that would be unlucky. So 14 points, five card heart suit. The robot expects this to be opened one heart. There's a case for one no trump because it's quite a good 14 points. 
one spade. Well, we can bid two diamonds now, bidding out our shape. Three cubs from partner, fourth suit forcing. Um, we've got nothing to say here, really. Um, this is one of those hands where we don't have a club stop. We don't have three cards in spades to support partner. We don't have a sixth heart or a fifth diamond. I think I'm going to lie about, I've got to lie about something. The plus side is lying. Mm, is it lying about my club stop? Partner may have something in clubs here. They don't seem to want us part, hearts or diamonds, so let's try three more trumps. This is just a big gamble. And may come off. So we're going to get two club tricks on this lead because we must make the queen as it comes round to it and the ace of clubs. So that's two. Two diamonds will be four. Three spades will be um, seven. We still need two more tricks. Um, see how nobody made did any bidding. If the ace of hearts is in the east hand, we can lead hearts twice towards the king queen and then we'll make the two heart tricks. On the other hand, spades might be three, three. See, we've got five spades there, two here, that's seven, so they've got six. They split three, three, then all those five spades would be good. But the odds are very much against that. It only happens about 34% of the time that there'll be a three, three break. So, I'm going to make sure of the second club trick. Maybe the robots will switch now. No. Right, so I'm going to go across to Dunny and lead a heart towards the King Queen. There's the nine. Interesting, we've got the ten. And the jack and the eight. Right. So have they ducked? The robot rarely ducks the ace in that position. Yeah, so I am going to stake everything on the ace of hearts. There's the jack. So that probably means that they've got a spade winner. I'm going to play the three in case the jack of spade hearts pops up. Remember, we had king queen. There was ten nine in dummy. Um, so if the, even if the ace doesn't show up, if the king pops up, the jack rather drops from this hand, then you can just knock out the ace, and the other ones will be good. Okay. Um, is it worth? No, I got. I'm going to play this heart now. There's the ace. Now they're going to play a club to dummy. Now they're going to cash their spade trick. So that set up dummy spade. And now they're just playing diamonds. But we've still got the big diamond. We've got the biggest club. And now that's the only spade winner. So we've got three winners, but we just can't get to them. But I think we should be okay now. So we play the Queen of Hearts. There's the Jack, in fact. So the eight and seven are good. Throw a diamond away. And we can claim ten tricks. It's another good score. Uh, just a case of working our way through logically 
and recognising that Hearts was the best chance. The ace of Hearts being on in the East Hand was a 50% chance. In that case, we could make two extra heart tricks. Um, but the entries were a problem, so we had to keep on top of that. Board four, one diamond by West, round to us. Okay. So we have 15 points. We got shortage in diamonds and the values for a takeout double. But when you've got a five card major, it's generally better to bid the five card major first. If we get a subsequent chance, we can double to show that we got support for the other suits as well. But you don't want to I mean, say I've got support for all the suits when you've got um, a five card major. We'll see the, the, this is a, the robot says this is a bouncing over call, nine plus total points. So I'm sometimes called a protective, being in a protective position. Part has passed. Um, they may have a lot of diamonds and be waiting. No, but uh, they're prepared to support spades. Um, six to ten, it says, but I don't like it. The big hand sat over me. This hand's bid one diamond and two clubs. That's only promised, that's promised five diamonds and four clubs. So, and 15 to 22 total points. So two spades is enough, but we might go to three if they um, bid three of a minor. So that looks like they're five, five in the minors. So let's see, wonder what they're going to lead. Um, do I think we're going to beat three clubs? Not necessarily. I think three spades is. The logical thing to do. Partner did have quite a few diamonds to go with their points and they have hearts. So we probably would have beaten three clubs. This is this look gives every appearance of being a singleton. So we go up with the ace, even though that blocks the hearts. Because I want to take the spade finesse, draw trumps. So we had eight spades between us, so they had five. It's quite likely they're four one. They are. So this will still have the king of spades as a winner. But we think this hand probably now has two hearts. Um, but they certainly won't be roughing the king of hearts. Right. So we think this hand had five diamonds, five clubs, two hearts and one spade. So I'm, and ten of hearts hasn't appeared. So what I'm going to do is cash the jack. And there's, ah, there's the ten, but that, they did that because it didn't matter at that stage. If I'd overtaken with the queen, they wouldn't have played the ten. And now I'm just going to exit with the jack of diamonds, which this hand has to win. And now they're going to play the club, which gives our which means our king wins. Um, we're going to play another club. Nine, eight. So now they, they can stop me roughing a club, but they're not. They're just going to let me rough it in dummy. And they know they can make their um, king of spades because I have to rough this diamond. Even though it's a winner, I can play the ace of spades. And then I'll lose the king. 71% this time. So, so somebody, one player made three spades plus one. I think there's a way that... So, one club by East. I have an absolutely massive hand. 
seven hearts, five diamonds. Right. Well, we may as well see partner. There is a possibility we could play in diamonds if partner has some positive support for diamonds. So two no trumps here, unusual no trump, shows the two lowest unbid suits. Some people think it's just the miners, but no. It's the two lowest unbid suits. So um, in this case, that will be hearts and diamonds. So let's try two no trumps. Partners prefers hearts to diamonds. Says three plus, but they don't have to. Um, I've got a club loser. I'm just going to bid six hearts here. The fact they preferred hearts should mean that they can rough diamonds. So as expected, they're cashing a king of clubs. Um, jack of hearts. Oh, they stop. They plan to stop me roughing in dummy, but I can throw two diamonds on the ace and king of spades, but I do need to rough one diamond in dummy, don't I? It might get over roughed here. Well, as we vote, diamonds, and that's my only entry to dummy is in fact the diamond rough. So I need to play ace king of diamonds. Can't afford to draw a trump because then I would have no entry to dummy. Okay, well, here we go. A moment of truth. Woof. Diamonds did break 3-3, three, three, so um, we don't need to throw these diamonds away on those spades. Um, because they're both good. So I'm going to rough the ace of spades. Cash the king, queen of hearts, and uh, claim the rest of the tricks. The 1430. And we'll see that somebody is still tied with us in first place. Somebody has got all these same scores as me. So it's going to be a tough game this week. Um, 16 points, 5-5 five, five in the red suits. So this is a one-heart opening, remember. Two five, 5 suits, you open the higher ranked. You see partner says one spade. Um, we want to jump... I don't want to jump to three diamonds, despite the fact that I've got a strong hand. Um, because at the moment, it's a big misfit with partner. Two no trumps, a bounced invite. They've got four to five spades, 10 to 12 high card points. They obviously don't have three hearts. Um, I've got a club stop and I've got a big hand, so we'll play three no trumps. And they start with spades. Though hearts are really our weakness, we have to decide what to do in diamonds. It's a fairly even choice between leading the ten of diamonds and running it, um, playing for East to have the jack, and playing for them to be 3-3. Three, three. Or, well, no, because... Even if the jack comes down in two rounds, that's no good for me. So um, the jack would have to come down in one round and I'd still only get one extra trick. So I um, suppose I'll risk throwing a heart away, even though that tells the opponents I'm not going to set up hearts. Well, that gives me three spade tricks. Um, there are actually no more entries to this hand, for sure. Remember, the north hand is the one they can't see. Um, the south hand is the dummy. Well, I'm having to have to hope that they give us an entry at some time. 
and we will have robot I'm ducking that now the nine of diamonds is an entry six of spades am I going to finesse the eight no I'm going to Let's see now where we are. We've got one trick already. Two spades makes three. The three diamond, well, we can make four diamond tricks. We'll make seven. And the ace of clubs makes eight. Um, we don't want them knocking out the ace. We've only got four diamond tricks for sure because the nine of diamonds is a winner. And then we'd have to use the ace of clubs to come to this hand at some point. Or, of course, if the diamonds are four, aren't are worse than 4-2, we can just play ace-king-queen and the four will be good. Um, let's try setting up an extra spade trick. I didn't have any in my hand. No, I don't think we can. I think we've got to do something with the clubs. We're going to play the two of clubs and finesse the ten, unless um, the jack or king appears. Right. Okay, I don't think they're going to be able to keep us out of dummy. I'm going to knock out the king of clubs and see what they do the ace of hearts so they've set up our heart so that's given us an entry to our hands now with five of spades um well i can throw the seven of hearts away jack of spades wins and now I can cash the nine of diamonds, cash the queen of clubs, and uh, my hand will be good. And I've got the nine of hearts, the king of hearts as an entry. Well, that's another good score, which still keeps us tied for first with somebody. But essentially, the hand playing this hand, it was really about not committing too much to anything and... Um, letting the opponents play suits for you them playing spades helped me um them playing hearts helped me so if you ever you're the first to play whichever side is first to play a suit can never gain from it they may they may not lose if they got particularly they've got a good sequence to lead but uh, they can't gain right so another five four two two this one is not quite as good in way of the intermediates or the doubletons, but um, I still think it's worth a one no trump opening at pairs. Two hearts from here is hearts in a minor and east is passing. Um, my double is a takeout double, which promises some clubs. I should be worried if partner bids clubs, but I don't think we should sell out to two hearts. Two spades from partner, three hearts. Yeah. Partner doesn't have much. But we'd have got to two spades if we'd open one diamond. I think I'm going to pass here. And we'll see how we can do against three hearts. Partner finds a diamond lead. Is that shortage? Not that much shortage. Ten from there. Looks like it might have been from four. So we may have had a diamond fit as well. Leading a spade is just 
giving a trick away. Um, leading a diamond might let them throw something away from one hand and rough in the other hand, reducing their losers. So I'm going to lead the nine of clubs. The ace is probably on our left. But... Um, I will play low just in case there's... I'm worried now. Um, so I'm going to win my ace. They've got all those hearts. I'm going to exit with another club. Well, I'll throw the two of spades away. And now the three of diamonds. And cashing a club. Looks like they got another club to cash. So the only trick we might now make is the ace of spades, if partner has it. Looks like they do. So they make three hearts. And we have the diamond fit as well. So only 14.3. I'm still equal. No, I'm back into second place now. Yes, so the people who opened, presumably people opened the diamond, found about their diamond fit and did three diamonds and the robots didn't never found their heart fit in that case. They only yeah they only found their club fit. That one no Trump opening didn't work out well. I'm trying to keep track of how these five four two two one no Trump openings go as to whether they gain or lose. Um, it's one all today. Um, you'll have to see as time goes on. So we have um, three passes round to me. I got 14 points and two spades, which tends to mean that I should open the bidding. Remember the rule of 15, if you're fourth in hand after three passes, um, it's the side with spades that normally wins the, the auction um, because they outbid other suits. So unless you're, when you add your spades to your number of points, you get 15 or more, you should pass the hand in. But uh, I'm going to open this, but that was only 14, a couple of tens. My diamond suit isn't very good. So I'm going to open one no trump. Two clubs from partner, two diamonds from me. Two now trumps from partner. So they may not have a four card major for this. They're just inviting, but I'm minimum. So I'm going to pass. Right. Well, we're going to make, we should make three spade tricks, two or three spade tricks, a couple of heart tricks for five, one or two club tricks. But we are going to need some diamond tricks for the contract. So I'm going to have to play on diamonds. We might lose three diamonds in the process. I hope not. That's good. That's three spades without losing a trick. Um, two hearts without losing a trick is five. The clubs, we will lose at least one trick. So let's see if anybody rushes up with an ace. Now a nine. Do I duck and I hope they crash an ace and a king some other time? I think so. There's the king. I'm not going to crash them. Nine of clubs. Okay, king of clubs. Ace of clubs. Four of clubs, which is very nice. So now we'll wish we raised to three um, because we're going to give them their diamond winner. Um, 
Um, we go. We can cash our jack of spades. I won't wish we'd be done. Um, what is it? Oops. Ace of Hearts, cash the Queen of Spades, throwing the Ten of Hearts away, come back to our hand with the King of Hearts, and our two diamonds are good. I think, aren't they? Have I misremembered? Yeah. 150. Oh, that's another good score. So we had one bad score. Was that enough to stop us? Yeah, that was enough to stop us getting first place. First place was 82%. And we got 79. So that one bad hand was what kept us out of first place. Um, we could only have tied, I suspect, even if we'd uh, done really well on that hand. Um, I hope I didn't go too quickly this week, um, trying to catch up from being behind. Um, and I hope there were some useful lessons, um, particularly in no trumps about playing where you give away the least to start off with, the suits where you give away the least to start off with, um, and the ones where you make the most tricks. But um, the robots, I thought, didn't defend very well against us this, this week, but uh, they obviously didn't defend very well against the, the person who came first either. So I hope you found it was useful. Please do um, share, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Um, and I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.